At CA Broadcom, we believe the road to IT efficiency starts with the unification of all your monitoring metrics into an easy-to-consume portal that scales to meet the dynamism of modern network architectures. With the latest release of NetApps 19.1, we are proud to deliver enhanced operational awareness and simplicity as we continue to converge the network monitoring solutions into a unified view of alarm, performance and flow that ensures improved time to value and full visibility into a single tool across numerous technologies. Let's work through the latest enhancements to unify NetOps portal. Here in the first view that I define as a network operator level one, I've got the alarm console that lists all the alarms referenced and synced up with C8 performance management from Spectrum. Into this view, I can see everything's into a single portal. The first improvement we added into the portal, as you can see, is a new theme, which looks more modern, more vivid, with better user experience. We still have the menus item on the top, very ease of use to navigate, as well as we've reviewed the search capabilities in terms of selecting the time range here. And as you can see, we've got a very easy to consume items like the last hours, last 24 hours, last 4 hours, etc. of the time range. Here if I say, for instance, I'm going to take the last 30 days and I want to see, you know, my alarms for the last 30 days, I've got right away all the alarm for the last 30 days showing up, as well as my views listed out with all the information regarding CPUs, memories, top list available devices, top list reachable devices, deviation from normal from CPU memory tables right away into one views, which is very nice. The other improvement we've done here is the alarm console now, you know, allows operators to be more efficient with the key workflow improvements inspired by existing one click must have features. One of those was the ability to sort, you know, the tables, you know, here with the alarms, having the ability to select which columns need, need to be sorted in a certain orders. For instance, I want to see my severity to be sorted first, then I want to see the date, time as seconds, more ascendings or descendings right away that can be selected here, and then what I want to see as well is the numbers, for instance, of occurrence to see how many times I had these alarms here in the descending ways. And so right away I can select that, save this search, or save my you know, alarms console if you want here right away. And then afterwards, you know, I can select, you know, for instance, the information, you know, for my alarms. And right away in context coming from Spectrum, I can see, you know, the alarms information, title, severity, name, knowledge, etc. The neighbor typology, you know, for the device that I just selected having the alarms. The interface is showing up, which is an improvement as well compared to the previous versions. Now I've got additional information, for instance, interfaces coming from Spectrum, not monitored in CAPM, means I can see both performance, you know, interfaces as well as coming from Spectrums right away. Um, the other announcement that has been done here is the ability to um, synchronize the life cycle of the device. It means in Spectrum earlier, if you change the life cycle of the device, it will, you know, synchronize automatically with the NetApps portal showing up. And now what we've done in this version is the other way around. It means you can select, you know, one of these devices you're showing up and say, now I want to see the, I want to change the life cycles in Spectrum. It means if I change that here, put in maintenance and save that, it will replicate automatically into Spectrum. It means we've got a both way to manage the life cycle, you know, the devices, which is really nice here. The other improvement we've done regarding alarms and lifecycle of devices is be able to show this information when you navigate. One of those is regarding the inventory. If I select inventory of the device, what has been added here is lifecycle of the device showing up. It means I can, you know, set that up. But as well, we can see the let of state of the device when it's changed, you know, in terms of the life cycles, as well as the alarms showing up here. It means now I can select in this view, if we select here and we see the columns, for instance, I can see, you know, information as usual, but added as well the life cycle state, the last change, you know, for the life cycles, but as well the current alarm state, 
and as well you know see when was the last alarm state changes because you can have a device or an alarm that has been raised like 15 days ago as critical not been worked on but you want to see that was 15 days ago and here that's what we added here in order to facilitate the consumption of these alarms which is really nice it means being able to add this information right away you know in this view but as well you know as mentioned now embedding this information for life cycle and alarms has been added as well if i come back into my default page as the l1 operators what i want to do i can add as well this information here it means you can select you know views like this and say i want to see the life cycle to see if the device is up or not and as well i want to see the last state change you can see here and i want to see the current alarms right away it means right away i can see information that an alarm has been raised you know for the device here in terms of memory and we can see that's very high it means an alarm has been you know thrown here which is great it means as you can see we've got a nice integration between c spectrum and c performance management it means we embed faults into performance into the netops portal you know for the unified netops portal here another improvement has been made around flow now if i navigate into one of the device or interface that i've got into the system i can search very easily and found out that i've got this interface here and here what has been added when navigating here we added new information around flow it means there's no need to navigate into ca nfa anymore now we've got information from nfa embedded directly into the netops portal which is really nice as well it means here you can see we added out of the box new menu item like for instance the flow protocol flow host flow conversation and flow tos it means now if i go into the ip performance i will see information for my interface discard utilization etc for my device but as well you know the stack protocol showing up and then as well you know we'll see the train charts i'm going to change the visibility for the last 24 hours that's more accurate when i want to see what's going on here and i can see you know some utilization going up and down utilization in and out and as well the stack you know protocol showing up the host by as well and information about the tos and conversation but what has been done here very nice is the ability to navigate as mentioned earlier we improve the workflow to facilitate the navigation and user experience it means now if i want to see additional information for my ticks change or ip53 for instance i can select right away and click on the ticks change and what's happening is we will navigating right away into the menu item network network flow protocols and you will see the tick change protocol is selected automatically you know with what i've just selected and then i can see the trends in and out i can see the host rate conversation etc showing up right away but the beauty of this page and the workflow here is the ability to have selecting any of this protocol i can see um, the rest of the page refreshing automatically based on what i've just selected which is very nice it means you know i've got in context page refreshing with the information i want to see the other point is if i go for instance for the host i can select you know the host here and select as previously one of the host and right away information will be refreshing with information with the host i just selected host trends default in default out i can see as well host protocols again showing up here same for instance for the conversations here if i select that i can see i've got conversation for the server clients here and again conversation trends showing up and refreshing right away just everything into in context and again if i navigate and click here i will be landing into my netflow protocols menu item with this you know ip53 selected now if i go into the network flow tos again i've got a table with all the service related to my tos here and then i will see right away in context information about my mac throughput for instance here with you know the different widget you know showing up with information here which is which is very nice everything in context is to use coming from nfa you know for flow it means in this release 
um, we'll have the uh, integration of flow, faults, and performance into a single page.